the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Have you ever tried heroin? No. Oh. I don't know why I'm guilty you. God. You get, you get no, I have not there. tried heroin. Have you tried cocaine? Yes. How dare you? I have. You getting coked up? Am out I? Out on the streets? N- yeah. Coked up? Right I don't around, do it. Like I a can't maniac? do it anymore. How come? What happened? Because you don't know what that shit's cut with anymore. That's true. And that I, I saw some video and they're like, It'll do it one more time and it'll kill Fentanyl. you. I'm like, nope. Fentanyl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I had a guy in here. What was the guy's name? Ben, uh, was it Ben Westhoff, the writer who fentanyl, wrote that book on fentanyl? He used to be a, um, uh, he was a journalist. He used to write for um, LA Weekly. Ben Westhoff. Fentanyl Inc. Yes, Fentanyl Inc. And he said they were reviewing all these raves where people were dying and mm-hmm. like they're, they're dying from MDMA and like, it's like, it didn't make any sense. So they did some tests and they found out it's not really fentanyl or it's not really uh, MDMA they're dying from. It's MDMA cut with fentanyl. Yeah. And, and plus it, they're not hydrating themselves cause that you sweat cause those people will just, what it is, they'll though. just rave until their heart explodes. There's probably some of that too. Yeah. It's probably a few of those, but a lot of it is just overdoses of fentanyl cause they're cutting it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's I don't like, trust drugs anymore. That's why drugs should be legal. You know, that's one of the Mayor Pete things. He had this weird conversation with uh, one of the journalists where he was talking about decriminalizing drugs. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like, would you, so you would say heroin would be legal. And he goes, no, it wouldn't be legal. He goes, well, that's what decriminalizing is. Like, this is weird conversation where they're trying to work out the legal logistics of what's decriminalized and what's not. But it sounds totally counterproductive that if you wanted to have a healthy happy society you'd make cocaine and heroin legal right but the problem is if it's not legal then people are going to get it anyway and they're going to get it from the fucking cartels and they're going to get it and it's going to be spiked i don't want anybody to do heroin i don't want anybody to do coke i don't want anybody to do any of those drugs but the only way you're going to give them pure versions of that drug is to make sure that it's actually from a reputable source Mm -hmm. reputable yeah i say reputable it's a weird way of saying it, right? Tomato, tomato. No. I've reputable? Done, I've done ice. Who says reputable? That was it's like weird. People that say nuclear. <laughs> nuclear? <laughs> nuclear. Is it nuclear? Nuclear. The, I, I've done ice. That was one thing. What is ice? Done. So I think it's meth. meth. Yeah, how was that? Good times? Awful. How long did you stay awake? Oh, all night. It, I was, <laughs> shit, I was like, I think I was 22 <sighs> and like a friend of mine- at the time, I guess, was like, hey, we're going to smoke this out of a light bulb. I'm like, oh, Jesus fuck, Christ. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> How do you smoke it out of a light you bulb? You just, it's like a, it's like the end like, of it was cut off and you just light it underneath. It's like a How sh- would one cut a light bulb? I don't fucking know. I, like, I, oh man, I did that and I just remember going to a bar and just talking the fucking bartender's ear off. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just nonstop. I remember going home, and then I remember it being like three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, you know what sounds good? I'm gonna move all my furniture around. I was just <laughs> like, my neighbors were probably like, you fucking asshole. And then I remember going to bed finally at like six o'clock in the morning, and it was the worst feeling I've ever experienced in my life. Like my body just felt. Broken, rotted, ah, uh, rotted. Like, yeah, just, yeah. just corroded. Well, and, that energy's coming out of somewhere. Well, because you once you price. once you do it, you're addicted. So it was oh, like, really, I was, yeah, it was like right when it ended is when my body was like, you need more. You're going through withdrawals. So really? I went, I went one a, time, one time. It's all it takes. Really. Mm-hmm. And then I, I literally sat in my room and just shook it all out and sweated and i remember making a vow to myself i was like i am never doing this again and to the, and then finally it was like someone asked me they're like have you ever uh i was like yeah i've never done math i mean i've done ice and they're like that's what that is you dumb fuck and i was like oh man i mean it was not not pleasant and you see how quickly people can become addicted to that one stuff. time one you're time. addicted all it takes wow so at the end of it you're like oh my god i'm so wrecked i just need a little to get me over and then next thing you know you're doing a little all the time 